I want to talk about this little chicken today. Not this other one. This other one is a atten attention hog, so disregard. But the one in my hands did have splay leg when it was born. It was the last one out of the hatch that came out of its shell. I was sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. It wasn't too far behind the rest of the chicks, so I'm not sure what caused this particular chicken to get splay leg. But as you can see, she is walking, doing just fine. There she goes. This one is, this one's fine too. <laughs> Loves to be part of the, part of the crowd. But anyway, I kind of wanted to walk you through how I went about rehabilitating that chicken. She was falling over to the side. She couldn't keep her legs underneath her and she also had curled toes. So this chick did not have a lot going for her except that she was a fighter. She never ever gave up. She was eating, she was drinking, she was very active. She was acting like a normal chicken except that she couldn't walk. So I, you know, didn't want to give up on her until she kind of gave me that, that go ahead that, hey, you know, I'm ready to end this suffering. We had her on vitamins and minerals, and then we also did a little physical therapy session, which I'm about to show you. The first step I tried was the spraddle leg technique and like kind of repairing those tendons and anything, slipped joints, slipped tendons, dislocated hips, anything that might happen um, that's your first telltale sign. I tried to fix that first, and there's a lot of different techniques out there. I mean, there's the Band-Aid technique, there's the pipe cleaners, when there's the hair tie with the straw, athletic tape, whatever you're using, your goal is to get those legs hip width apart and to stay there so that they're forced to kind of use their legs in the proper way. And that's basically the premises of it. It's not really rocket science and it does take a little bit to get the things on there and make sure that it's attached properly. But what I did, um, you probably wanna work with two people. It was just me at the time. So I laid this chick down on a bed of warm rice and laid her down and this tried to calm her, calm her down for a little bit before I tried to um, start kind of fixing the splay leg. I did leave it on her for two days and she seemed to be just getting worse. She actually couldn't even fully stand up. She was like leaning to one side, toppling over. But I did find some alternative methods to helping a chick that can't walk. And what I did was I actually found an old pickle jar. I, my, my husband, it drives him crazy, but I save everything. And this is a, actually a sheet of felt. I found it in the craft section. Um, it was 10 cents. It's really strong and durable. I like this because I'm actually going to be using it as like a feeding tray as well. So this chick is actually, by the time I'm filming this, she's able to walk, but I kind of wanted to just give you a demonstration. I'm gonna show you how I did this. So I just basically put the, the sheet of felt inside the pickle jar and I pushed it down and then attached it with some little binder clips. Measured her hip width and then made little holes with scissors in it. Now I did have to take the felt out to be able to get her in there and then put her back into the pickle jar and she stayed like this for 24 hours. I was able to 
manipulate the fabric in, a, in such a way that I could make a little feeder system. So for 24 hours, I kept her in this. Um, she had that food ready for her. She ate willingly. And then also I would just go in there every couple hours and I would give her some water from this medicine syringe. But here you go, guys. All of this stuff I've just had because I knew there was a purpose for it. I just didn't know what it was yet, and now I do. It is a, a chick physical therapy center. You know, the next day she was able to stand upright, but she was still having issues walking. I think as you can see from that first video footage that I put up, she had curled toes. I taped band-aids to her feet. Um, so basically this, her feet were kind of curled like, like this. And I took the band-aid and I laid one end like this, and then I folded it over. And then that I pancaked her little feet in there so that they were forced to lay flat. And then I put her in another jaw this one was slightly smaller and she wasn't able to move she had to force herself to stand up she had to put pressure on those legs and those feet and I did that for 24 hours and then after that you guys she was walking just fine It, just don't give up just don't give up if this stuff doesn't work for you because I will say like I've watched I watched a lot of videos and I thought it would work and then I had to do the next thing and then I had to do the next thing but there is like so long as they are giving you good reason to keep trying keep trying um, if it's important to you to to make sure that you're gonna give that chick a fighting chance don't give up do not give up I promise you there is a method and a way out there that will work for you and you just got to find it and so hopefully my method gives you some kind of insight on what to do and also know my method is not cookie cutter the initial diagram that was I copied this from did not look like that it was completely different but I basically got a general gist of how it needed to be and I figured a way out with what I had in my home with the exception of you know I bought that little piece of felt for like 10 cents at Walmart and so um, you just you find a way if, if it's if it's truly something that you really want to put forth effort and that chick is showing you that you know it's it's willing to try and willing to not give up then then find a way it's definitely possible so so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and see you then excuse you Hey, the surgery in process, kid. We have somebody who wants to help out. Just so interested with what's going on. Oh, don't eat your feet. Oh, this is